Welcome to Team Pride Book Talks. My name is Lucy, and this is the show on AEDL TV, where each episode I take a few moments to talk about a young adult book that is both representative of and inclusive of folks in the LGBTQIA plus community. The book that I want to tell you about today is a graphic novel, and it's called North Ranger. It is by Ray Terciero, and it is illustrated by Brie Indigo. Ray Terciero is the pen name for an author named Rex Ogle. You might be familiar with some of his other books. He's written a lot. He's written fiction, nonfiction, uh, middle grade graphic novels, some comics. He's coming out with a memoir. And then he has a series of graphic novels that are retellings of classics, and he writes those under the name of Ray Terciero. So North Ranger falls into that, and it is a loose retelling of the Jane Austen novel, Northern Abbey, which in and of itself was sort of a parody of horror stories at the time. So it's a really interesting Jane Austen book to look at and to reinterpret. The author, Rachel Sierra, says that he has been working on reimagining classics, modernizing them, and creating them with queer characters because those are the classics and the stories that he wished he had when he was younger. And it's also just a way of taking something that seems timeless, but making it more relevant and making it more inclusive. North Ranger Abbey is about a queer Latina teenager named Cade and he lives in rural Texas and is sent to work on a Texas ranch for the summer. He goes with his stepfather Dale unwillingly to this Texas ranch that is owned by an old army buddy of Dale's who turns out to be this really sort of tough, intolerant, terse, mean rancher. He's got two children named Henry and Henry. They're twins. There's Henry, the boy, and then there's Henrietta, the girl, and she goes by Henry. Their mother has died recently, and there's sort of a mystery around that. As the book evolves, you hear more about this missing mother, and Kate gets ideas put into his head about what might have happened to her, and he connects Henry to it, and that's really part of the horror element. Cade loves horror movies. Going to see horror movies is something that he finds as sort of a safe refuge. He finds the places where he watches them to be safe spaces. And he's so well-versed in the world of horror stories. So his mind is very much on the world of horror. So when he's presented with a real life scenario that is vague and somewhat suspicious, he goes to horror. North Ranger is the name of sort of a summer house that the Henrys and their father have. It's a big, beautiful, but looming house. You can go swimming and fishing and just generally relax. They like to watch horror movies there. And that is in juxtaposition to the ranch, which they live on and work on. Working on the ranch is a real eye-opener for Cade. He's got to get up early every morning. He's got to work hard. He's got to get dirty. He's exhausted. And there are strict rules. One bonus about this ranch is Henry. Henry and Cade become really close friends really quickly. Henry is very handsome, this rugged cowboy look to him, and Cade just immediately becomes attracted to him. Cade is not out to anybody, even to his family. And this is the first time where he is in a situation where he feels like he might be able to explore a romance. Henry is not out either, but his sister seems to know that Henry is gay. So this sort of very romantic connection occurs. In addition to having this romance in the book, there's a lot of drama that is wrapped around homophobia. Basically, the owner of this ranch is so intolerant about everything, and the number of homophobic slurs that people just drop in regular language is very recurrent. But Rachel Sierra is staying close to Northern Abbey in that gothic romance novel feel. One way that that's also really well done is with the illustrations themselves. They're really, it's two tones, so light black and white, but it's really sort of a red to pink and a brown. And that's really well done by Brie Indigo. Just the way that the colors change sort of indicates the mood of the scene. Is this going to be something scary? Is this going to be something mysterious? And then there are some really tropey sort of horror pieces. This big looming house, which is North Ranger, and these mysterious doors that have to remain closed. 
creaks and sounds like that. Cade really gets it into his head that Henry had something to do with his mother's disappearance. And someone else has recently died. And so Cade just starts to make these presumptions about Henry at the same time that he's falling in love with Henry. So there's a lot that's going on in Cade's brain. The problem is everybody keeps everything so secret at North Ranger that there's this constant kind of gaslighting because Cade will come up with some idea that's sort of shut down, even if it's getting close to the truth. So he imagines something so much bigger. And there's just a lot of miscommunication. Having this theme of horror and using a parody of a gothic horror novel to then reimagine is a really interesting way to present how Cade is feeling inside. This book does a great job of showing what it's like to grow up in a rural area, in an area where people don't feel safe coming out, where there is this predominantly straight society, and how difficult that is for Cade internally. Henry has to really mask who he is because of the expectations of who he should be based on where he grew up, based on how who his father is. So there's a lot that both of these boys are dealing with in remaining closeted. When Cade finally does come out to his parents, he uses the metaphor of horror movies to explain to them what his experience has been like. And his mother is saying, I never understood your taste in scary movies. They're awful. Cade responds by saying, for you, for me, they're the closest thing I have to the gay experience. Running and hiding from monsters, being terrified of being found out, the strong female heroine who doesn't get the guy, usually because he gets killed or he's the monster, Yep, that's me too. And horror movies don't have happy endings. Even if the protagonist survives, they aren't happy. All their friends and families and loved ones are dead. They're alone, just like me. And to Cade's parents, that really makes a lot of sense. And then he's able to further explain how because of that, because of his belief that he wasn't deserving of love, he created a real horror story around the person that he was potentially falling in love with. There's so many interesting layers to this graphic novel, and it's shown both through the story and the language and the illustrations. And it's fun to read because it does have that gothic horror feel and that romance feel. And there are some really tender scenes. There are some gritty scenes. There are some physically dirty scenes. They're working on a ranch. But then there are some really beautiful tender scenes as well. I really loved reading this. I love graphic novels and this was no exception at all. So I highly recommend that you read North Ranger by Ray Terciero, which is illustrated by Bree Indigo. Thank you for joining me.